Assalamu alaikum or welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing really, really well. Today is going to be a cooking video and I'm in my parents' house, so this is my house. This is my mom's kitchen. By the way, it's my birthday today. Happy birthday to me. Say something then. What if I have Happy birthday to me. But anyways, yeah, um, it's my birthday today. And what am I doing on my birthday? I am cooking for my dad. Uh, basically, my mom's gone Saudi Arabia for 10 days with my brother. She's doing the, her Umrah, Alhamdulillah. And my dad's home alone. And he called me last night. And I'm like thinking, okay, you know, he's going to say happy birthday because it's my birthday today. And then he goes, Shirley, can you come down and cook for me? And I was like, what? And I think he forgot that it's my birthday. He didn't even wish me happy birthday. And I'm his eldest. So he's so sad. Anyways. I don't care i'm okay i'm not complaining i will happily cook for my dad it's not like as if i'm doing anything um he wants gualmas which is a bangladeshi fish gualmas curry so i'm gonna cook a fish curry with potatoes i've got the ingredients out here so we're gonna use three onions we're gonna use some garlic i'm using the very lazy chopped garlic um we've got some potatoes here I've got all my mum's spices out here. So it's turmeric, bachor, chili powder, salt. And over here, we've got the gualmas defrosting in a uh, bowl. So yes, um, whilst the gualmas is defrosting, I'm just gonna, is there a light in there? Yeah. I'm just gonna um, cook the, what is this be? It's a lighter, isn't it? Oh. So, first things first. Okay. So let's cut the onions. By the way, I hate cutting onions, guys. Like peeling onions and then cutting them. It's just the bane of my life. Which is why I used, I use usually uh, frozen onions. But in this case, I'm going to use real onions. Not real, you know, raw onions, fresh onions, that's it. Did it? So the kids are at school today, and um, we've just come straight from dropping off Mustafa to school, and we just come straight to my dad's. Uh, my dad is at work, so the house is empty. I'm gonna have to clean up as well after him. some oil to the handi so I'm gonna add about how much oil is that two three tablespoons of oil a little bit more just to meet it yeah that looks perfect Taste it later, see if it's alright. Actually, maybe a little bit more. 
because we are adding potatoes. We're going to wait for these to turn brown and we'll come back to you. Thank you. 
Stuff we just did. So what I'm going to do to clean the fish guys, I'm going to add a bit of salt to the fish and just like get rid of any excess hasra, I don't know, like slime and stuff. But this fish is really clean, I'm not going to lie, look how nice and white it looks. Let's see how white it looks. I'm gonna soak the fish in the salt for a few minutes and then I'll wash it off properly. Oh, I can feel some slimy bits here. Okay, I'll just leave that like that for a bit. Okay, leave that to the side. Just wash up. Hey, it wasn't banana. I can see some bananas there. Huh? Put the fruit tray on it. Yeah. call it onions with this mash mash up
the spices guys first one we are going to add is turmeric about half a tablespoon of turmeric even yeah, that looks like too much um backward which is uh, coriander powder i'm gonna add one whole tablespoon of that and we are gonna add chili powder my dad likes very hot food so we're gonna add one whole tablespoon I'm going to give this a good mix and make sure the spices are cooked on low heat so they don't burn. Give it a good mix. I hate this handy on the cooker, it keeps moving. It's a really annoying. Let's try some. Is there more? Spicy. Not really. We're going to have to add some more rice. Where's the custom more rice? So we're going to add a tiny bit of water to add, make some zhul. Yeah, we're going to dark with it. Put the heat up and I'm going to cover this up. by the time I add the fish. I'm gonna add a bit more shida. fish we usually use a da so that means it's like a huge massive blade knife and you hold it with your crotch area and it's very dangerous basically but with this how am i going to cut this big do i just add the whole do i just put this whole thing in it's up to you do i cut it in I'm the not making it. i normally use like a mallet i used to use a mallet at your mom's house I don't think my dad has a mallet. Why don't you do it with the that, that thing that you're pushing the thing with? Try it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not making it. I might just have to add. Okay, so 
these pieces are fine. It's just this bit. Yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna add this bit. I'm gonna leave this bit the way it is because I'll just leave it big pieces because I know my dad likes big pieces. Cut that bit. That's perfectly fine. That's fine. And then here we could maybe cut it on the side here. Yeah, perfect. So then there's two pieces here. Maybe I could do that. No, I can't. The anti is too dangerous, man. Maybe I, I could half it here. Yeah. Okay, perfect. What I'm going to do, I'm going to rinse this one more time. Really carefully because the fish is so soft. And then I'm going to add it to the handy. Maybe I should have used a bigger hand. Probably not, it's only him eating by himself. Can you cook well once we shot for that? Yeah, I'm sure you can. Back in the days when I was young, I used to like eating fish, but now I just can't eat fish. Yeah. I don't know, curry Just the idea of the bone just kills it for me. I know well must not have bones really, does it? No, could have got that. Just got that one spinal bone. I'm gonna give this one more over like that. It's a bit shira shira. Put the fire up and cover it up. And at this point, what we're going to do a little tidy. So, what we're going to do is add the chasamoris. And I love using scissors for this technique because it's just easier and I just cut through the middle like so. Done, done, done. Really quick, really easy. Simple. If I was living at your mom's house, I would do way more cooking videos. You know? Mm -hmm. So this is a technique that all Bangladeshi mothers do. <laughs> they hold the sides of the um, handles and they mix it like that. So because you don't want to put your spoon inside because it will mess things up. Me saying that I'm sticking a knife in there now. You don't want to break your fish. Don't yeah. break your fish, guys. Should we give it a little test, guys? Well, it's not ready yet. I just want to test, test the shura. It's still okay. raw, fish is still raw. Now 
how sweet these are. But really nice. You can taste the guala already, babe. That's a really nice fish, you know. Yeah, it's a little bad power, like, though. I'm bad for it. Okay, go just like it. Yeah, please.
Indian. Cooking rice with that. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. mom's garden this is what she likes growing all these vegetables it's the way of life guys agricultural life start growing your own produce
Carrot becomes banana man. Can you remember? I don't know. So like three minutes on TV. Think that's what it was like each episode. What about Super Ted? Do you remember Super Ted? Seriously? Remember Super Ted? The spotty used to come and he used to be a psychic and he used to he used to whisper from the Forever himself. is the strangest Super thing. Super Ted. It's shorter than you think. Yeah.